to start off with glycolysis. Okay, we have to start with glucose. And then with glucose, we get 2NAD plus plus 2NDP and plus 2PI. And then on the bottom, carry down here, we end up ending with 2. Whoops. Cut. Pyruvate. <laughs> 2 pyruvate and 2NADH plus 2 2 ATP and 2 water. Yay! Yeah. Alrighty, guys, we are going to start off with the basic skeletal structure of glycolysis. So, starting with glucose, it's then reacted into glucose 6 phosphate, which from the next reversible reaction, it turns into fructose, fructose 6 phosphate. Then the next non-reversible reaction, it turns into fructose six one six biphosphate. This is then split into two different molecules, both reversible into D hydroxyacetone phosphate. The second one is glyceraldehyde three phosphate. But the dehydroxyacetone phosphate is transformed into a second chi three phosphate. The reversible reaction turns it into one three biphosphoglycerate. From another reversible reaction, it then turns into three phosphoglycerate. Another reversible reaction then turns it into two phosphoglycerate. The final reversible reaction then turns it into phosphoenol pyruvate. Glycolysis is then ended by the last reaction turning that phosphoenol pyruvate into pyruvate. between glucose and glucose 6-phosphate is going to involve the transfer of ATP to ADP. And this is catalyzed by the enzyme hexokinase. The next enzyme used between glucose 6-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate is phosphohexose isomerase. Um, ATP is then transferred into ADP. And this reaction is catalyzed by. And this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphofructose kinase one. We're going to denote that by PFK one. The next reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called aldolase. And then that transfer from dihydroxyacetone phosphate to glyceraldehyde three phosphate um, is by an enzyme called triose phosphate isomerase. This reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme by the name of glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase. And this is combined by the uh, addition of inorganic phosphate plus NADH plus to produce the byproduct of NADH plus a hydrogen ion. This next reaction is then catalyzed by phosphoglycerate kinase. and ABP, which then produces ATP. The next reaction is then, then catalyzed by phosphoglycerate mutase. Then the next one is catalyzed by enolase with the additional product of H2O. The last one is catalyzed by pyruvate kinase, but it also has the addition of ABP to turn into ATP.